Good evening, Brian. It's Wednesday. Or should I say, good evening, best man. It's Wednesday. I know. I know. That's a super lame joke. Hooray, best man! That's awesome! And yes, I know. It's been a long time. Really, I've had you in mind for a while, and I knew I wanted you to be a best man for a long time. It's just taken me a little while to get around to it. So, yeah. As far as responsibilities, it's pretty chill. In general, there aren't too many responsibilities. There are possibly more things traditionally that the best man would do, but we are skipping a lot of those weird traditional things. A quick Google search will probably give you an idea, but generally um, there is the speech, which I think happens at the reception, the dinner after the ceremony. Um, there's planning the bachelor party, which won't be as crazy as it seems on movies or TV. Um, and then I think we'll probably have the parties help us decorate the venue, but that's pretty much it. So yes, there will be a speech in front of like 100 people. Good luck. No pressure. So you did your punishment. I hope it wasn't too terrible, but hopefully it'll serve as a reminder for you to not forget in the future. That definitely sounds pretty spicy. You had a jalapeno pepper, cayenne powder, sriracha sauce, and naga jalokia hot sauce from dad. Which all sounds ridiculous. What did the parents say when you mentioned the punishment and what you needed? Also, did you have a camera person with that video? So I figured since it seemed like my last video was kind of a bait and switch as far as topics, I should actually talk about running clothes today. For the most part, running clothes are a luxury, not a necessity. Running clothes will not make you go faster. Running clothes will not make you go farther. All the times that running is hard right now, it would still be hard with running clothes. What running clothes do do, in fact, is make all of those things that suck, suck a little bit less. Proper running shorts and shorts are cooler and more breathable and make it a little bit more comfortable when you're running. And they also dry quicker and make you feel a little bit less like a swamp monster. Do I think anyone who's starting out running should run out and get running clothes? Sorry about the pun. No, I don't. I haven't really ever bought any running shirts. Because most races you sign up for, you get a shirt for that race as part of the fee when you register for the race. And it's usually a high-tech running shirt that's nice and fancy and the right kind of material and everything, so I don't usually go out and buy the shirts, I just get the shirts from races. Plus, the nice thing about that is as you get better, which is when you'll start noticing the difference more, you start signing up for races and you start getting those shirts. So it's like, as you start getting better and needing the shirts, you start getting the shirts instead of having to go buy them all at once when you're still starting out and aren't gonna really notice the difference. The one thing that does not, in fact, match what I have just said is running socks and shoes. These things will change your running swamp monster life forever. Not only are they comfortable and lightweight and snazzy feeling, but they also actually support your feet and ankles as you're running and keep you from having health problems or running with bad form and injuring yourself, and they also just make your running more efficient and better. They're just designed for the mechanics of running. Plus, when you go to a good running store, they watch you walk and look at your gait and look at how your feet move and look at the size of your feet and how you stand and make shoes that are designed to match all of the weird things that your feet have going on. Plus, running shoes and socks are also breathable and lightweight, so they make it just more comfortable and your feet also sweat a little bit less, which is super important when you're running so you don't get blisters and feel gross with swamp monster feet. It's just a much better experience overall. So as you get back into running after giving your legs a few weeks, um, my advice to you would be to go ahead and get a pair or two of good running socks now. Um, you'll probably get a shirt from whatever the first race you sign up for is. And I would wait to get, I mean, I'd probably try and get running shoes maybe a couple weeks before your first race or afterwards, not right before because you need time to get used to them. Um, that'd be my advice to you. Speaking of which, we should look up into signing up for a 5k together, possibly in October. I think that's it for today, Brian. I'll see you tomorrow.